Hello everybody and welcome to my 12th weekly Excel hacks and apologize it's been probably about a month since I last put up uh, episode 11. I've been really busy with work and I've also started buying a house so uh, I've been pretty busy and not been able to upload any videos for you. Uh, hopefully now things should have calmed down a bit so we should be able to start releasing some more again. Um, but I will be moving soon, so I probably will have a little break again in a few weeks. Uh, but then I will have a brand spanking new office, which I'm quite excited about. Uh, and we'll get some new recording equipment and things. Uh, and soundproof it a bit as well to make the quality better. I know sometimes I pick up like planes and cars driving by and things like that, which is very annoying. Uh, so uh, hopefully that will be sorted as well. So, uh, fingers crossed for the uh, future of uh, your programming network. Um, it's going to get improved quality, I should think. And uh, also, while I've not been making videos, thank you to everyone that has been donating. Uh, and to those of you that have been sending me messages hoping that I'm okay. <laughs> um, uh, especially people donating. Uh, I need to think of some way of thanking you all. Um, so I know a lot of YouTubers do various things. Uh, if anyone's got any ideas for how I can thank you for your donations, then just drop them in the, the comments below. I'll be interested to hear your ideas. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice to, re to receive the donations. Um, so I do put a lot of work in and uh, it's just nice for it to be appreciated. So thanks. <laughs> Uh, so let's get started with the weekly hacks. Uh, this week we've got three new hacks. We've got free panes, which is one that quite a lot of people will probably know. Um, but because it's so useful, I just want to make sure it's in here in this series. Uh, I've got extend range with F8. Uh, and then I've also got very hidden as well, which is how you can kind of hide sheets so that no one's able to ever find them. Uh, it's very useful for making certain pages secure and then you can use a little bit of VBA to just kind of uh, give people access to them when you want them to have access to it. Uh, so uh, enough chit chat jibber jabber, let's uh, crack on with our first hack of the week. So, our uh, first hack of the week this week is Freeze Pain. Um, this one is very useful uh, in particular when you've got a very large data set. Uh, and if here I have some baseball data that I've just stolen from the internet off of a free data site. Uh, and as I scroll down, uh, you just kind of, you've just got loads of data. Uh, but the problem is once you've gone a away from the first line, once you've scrolled down a little bit, you no longer have the headings available to you. And you can't actually tell what any of this information relates to. Um, and Freeze Panes helps you with this. It just allows you to keep uh, a certain amount of your spreadsheet static. So in order to use this, the first thing you need to do is just choose where you want your panes to be frozen from. So in this instance, I just want this first starting line. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to head over to column A and you're going to select the cell underneath where you want to freeze your panes. Uh, and then all you need to do is just go to view uh, and then click on freeze panes. And You've got the option of freezing the top row or just the first column, which you can do. Or if you just click on the freeze panes, because I've selected the cell just underneath where I want it, that's going to freeze everything above and to the left. Uh, the reason I selected column A is because I don't actually want any panes frozen to the left at the moment. Uh, I only want the ones at the top. So I've selected here. And now you'll see as we scroll down, you actually get those headings staying exactly where they are and you're able to understand perfectly where everything is. Uh, if we click on it and again, then we're going to unfreeze pane, so then now it's going to go. Uh, and let's say we wanted the player ID to be frozen as well. All we need to do is select this cell here, and then it's going to do everything on the left and everything up above. So if we freeze panes here, you'll see that you get little lines marking those two sides, and we can go up and down, and we get to keep our top headings uh, and we can go over to the left 
uh, and we get to keep all that information on the left. Uh, and this isn't going to be a very good example, but you can just do it kind of anywhere you want. So if I do it over here and freeze panes here, then as I scroll down, I'm going to get all the ones above it staying stationary. And as I scroll across, I'm going to get all the ones on the left staying stationary. So very useful. And uh, if you didn't know it, then now you do. Um, and hopefully that's a really useful one for you. And uh, so that's it for our first hack of the week. Right guys, so our second hack of the week is the extend range and again this kind of follows a similar theme in the line that we've got oh, a big amount of data uh, and what it is, it just allows you to quickly select uh, or very easily select uh, a selection of data. So let's say we want to select everything from 1934. Uh, if we go like this, it can sometimes be a bit tricky if you've got a lot of data. Uh, so one way you can get around this is you can do something called extend a range with F8. Uh, and all we're going to do is we're going to select the first cell that we want to select in the top left of our selection. It doesn't have to be top left, it can be the bottom right, or top right, or bottom left, any of the corners. Uh, and then we're going to scroll down to where we want to do our bottom right. We don't have to hold anything down right now, we can literally just move around the sheet. Uh, we're then going to press F8. And you'll see at the bottom it comes up with this extend selection. Uh, and all we need to do now is just click where we want to have the end of our selection. And you'll see now it's selected all of this up here. Uh, and then we can do whatever we want with this. We can cover it in yellow if we even really want to. Um, uh, that's it. It's very simple. Just select one, press F8, select the second, and it will highlight everything in the middle for you. Quick, simple, but a useful hack of the week. Right then guys, it's that time of the week. It's our super hug. And this one is very useful and something that people quite often ask me about and it's how to use the very hidden uh, property of a worksheet. Now this works slightly different from a normal hidden property. Uh, if I right click on my extend range down here and click on hide, you'll see that it hides the sheet. Uh, and then if I want to get it back, I just click on unhide and then I select the sheet. Uh, but what you won't notice is I'm now actually not able to unhide anymore. And that's because it doesn't think there's any more sheets for me to unhide. Which is a bit of a trick because if I click on show here, you will see that we have a, another hidden sheet. Uh, and if I hide it again, you'll see it's gone. Uh, and this is through using the VBA property of a sheet called Very Hidden. And it just stops you from being able to see that sheet at all in your unhide. So that makes it very useful for protecting information you don't want other people to see. Uh, and if we just drop into our code, if we go and view codes in here, uh, you'll see what the is going on. So we've got this hidden sheet here. Uh, and if I just pull this up, and fit it in my screen uh, and we click on our hidden sheet and we just open up our properties by pressing F4 you'll see we've got this visible property down here and at the moment the sheet is set to very hidden now if I make this a bit smaller just drag it up here let's get rid of our locals and immediate windows um, if I change this to visible then you'll see that it jumps in down here and you're able to see it. Uh, if I change it to hidden, it's hidden, but just normally hidden. So you stood up, people would still be able to unhide that. Uh, and then you've got very hidden, which is what takes it away. And I've just done that on the wrong one. So let's just make that one visible again. Uh, we want that one to be very hidden. And we want this one to be visible. There we go. Um, and then we can just control this property with our codes. So if we see here, we have designated our sheet when we've done dot visible equals two, which is the parameter that gives us sheet very hidden. You can type in Excel sheet very hidden, but I just use the numbers because it's quicker to type. Uh, and then when we want to make it visible again, we do set that to minus one. Uh, I also do this worksheet.activate uh, that just means that when you run this macro it jumps onto that sheet and shows you that sheet 
Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not very useful because people can just go into your code if they know what they're doing. Um, they'll be able to uh, make it show themselves. Uh, well, you can get around this by simply password protecting your code. Uh, and it's very simple to do. Just go into VBA properties and then into protection. Click on lock project for viewing and then just type in a password in here. And press OK. Uh, and then if you save this, so we'll save in episode 12, close down episode 12, and then we try and find where episode 12 is in our documents. Uh, okay, episode 12. If we open this up, enable content if we try and look in that code it's going to ask us for that password so we can't actually um and it's going to say system error because i didn't put the password in it's not going to let us do anything with that property until we uh put the password in obviously in this case i've accidentally left it visible so make sure you don't do that make sure you do set it to very hidden before you save your file uh, but it's very useful for any sheets that you don't want people to see until they say enter the password or you verified them through the uh the old environ uh username which you can put in vba to take out someone's username from their computer which is quite useful um, and that's it for a super hack of the week and it for this week's weekly hacks um, thanks for all your support again uh, please keep it coming uh, I love to hear your comments um, you seem to comment more when I don't do any videos so uh, get a bit more active on these ones and it will yeah, be a bit more encouraging <laughs> and um, I hope to catch you next week